this team is a very, very weird dynamic. And the interesting thing is, is that they don't call the coach coach. They call him Kyle. Kyle. Kyle's your friend until he's ready to put you on the bench. That's right. <clears throat> um, it's just it's just a, a locker room that leads itself. So the locker yes. room is led by the click. Okay? Yes. So it's Juice. And, 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 and Kittle's been on the team the longest. So the people yeah. that lead the click are George and Juszczyk. And yep. Jimmy Garoppolo, those are the guys who've been here since 2017. They're the, they're the OGs. Exactly. Sorry, it's their team. And unfortunately, you have to show it on the field in their eyes to see to, to get their respect, right? So No, I mean, in their eyes, they make the call. They decide who the quarterback they're is going to be. They're, they're making the call. call. Yep. They're making and the so, call. And so when Trey Lance got hurt and Jimmy Garoppolo came back, Kyle Juszczyk exactly. said it felt like 49er football again. Because, again, exactly. to have Trey Lance on the field – you got to install the zone read. That takes time. They don't want to do that. That's not 49er football. Nope. It's not. Nope. No, and that was just a huge... Juszczyk and George Kittle are the offensive coordinators of the 49ers. Yes. Yes. And, and the head coaches. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just, I just don't see how they're going to be able to win this way. I just don't. I think, you know, Kyle continuously shows his faults. Yeah, he won 12 games. I can't take that away from him. I can't, but it's always that situation that he just doesn't make good adjustments. Like he gets an air coat in his head and he can't get out of his own way. I feel like he could win a ton of Super Bowls if he were an offensive coordinator for Bill Belichick. If he had a strong coach above him that he respected, not his dad, someone who actually would say no, Kyle. And he's like, all right, man, it's Bill Belichick. That's what he said. They could win a ton of Super Bowls together, but in this position where he has no checks and balances and he's just Kyle the King. I don't think so, man. I think he's going to get close and come up short most years. And 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 it, and it goes beyond that. You know, I do truly believe that it, it, it starts with the Yorks. I've always said it's just four components to a, a championship team that's going to be in it year in and year out. Strong ownership, a strong GM, yeah, strong head coach, and a quarterback, and technically it's one more, and that's a defense. You got that, then you'll be rolling for, for a long, long time. And we have issues in ownership. We have issues at the head coach position, and it's been seven years, and we have not figured out the quarterback situation at all. And what I mean by not figuring that out is the simple fact that people talk all this smack about quarterbacks like they know what the heck they're talking about, and we don't really know what these guys are until they get on the field, right? So big kudos to Purdy because he got on the field, and he showed that, hey, guess what? In this offense with these weapons, I just got to get rid of the ball. If I do that, I'm going to be okay, right? For example, yep. he didn't get rid of the ball in the NFC Championship game. He got nope. blew up, yep. right? Now, again, you got to go back, and this is why I, I you got to put some of the blame on Kyle, is because didn't he put one of his quarterbacks that was like on a two-year, on, on their own two-yard line, and he, and he, and he did a seven-step drop, play-action pass, that Jimmy Garoppolo running around in the end zone. Frantic. That uh, that play essentially cost the Niners the number one seed a bye week and the home field advantage. That play. Okay. But but it's it's those brain farts that I'm talking yes. about. Yes. It's those brain farts. And everybody sees it. Joe Montana sees it. Mike Holmgren sees it. Everyone sees it. But yeah. no one calls out Kyle directly. No one will call out Kyle Shanahan in the media, uh, right. in the league. People are afraid of this man. And it's like, I don't understand. I don't it. It's not like he's a three-time Super Bowl champion yet. Like, he has promise. But again, it. like, it, it's the Shanahan name. They're very powerful. He's been His dad's been around since the 80s. They have a right. lot of long t- I mean, like, Mike Shanahan launched the careers of a lot of national <laughs> journalists. They, like, they're owed favors. Right. And, and he lost my career, though. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's favors or not, I mean, the reality is. People is are afraid of them. People it's are just, afraid of him. Between his mistakes on the field is in, in, in managing a game and between the fact that he's got this crazy locker room dynamic that I've never seen before. I've never seen this before. Your team goes out with a boom box because they want to. Oh, oh well, Kyle, this lets us do whatever we want. I'm, I'm saying is that... To me, like all this stuff, it, it's, it's cute and it's cool if you think they're going to win the Super Bowl. But if they never win it, the, the boom box, George Kittle singing at the NFL honors, like... Those are punchlines, punchlines punch punch from lines. an era that never actually came to fruition. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This team's a huge joke. It's a joke right now. They're the Memphis Grizzlies. No. They're the Houston Rockets. No. You're a team that's that's that that's not champions that, that carries yourself like you are. You, you, you talk he, down on the Eagles that won in 2017 and might win again this year. Have some respect. I mean, that's one of the reasons why you know I came I came to the conclusion as I was as just watching football and I watched the Super Bowl from 2019. And I saw how that game unfolded, and I'm like, this is a game that the coach wins the game. This is the game where the coach makes the decisions to win the game. Mm-hmm. And he was too busy being an offensive coordinator instead of being a head coach. Every time. And, th- and that cost him in these tight, contested, close games. If if we face, and again, I'm not a 49er fan. I'm a 49er supporter. A fan. If I was a fan, I'd shoot myself, okay? But I'm a supporter, okay? But I can't stand the Yorks. I don't like their head coach. <laughs> I'm questionable about both. I don't know if Purdy or Lance is the guy. I don't know. I feel like, me neither. Papa, I got to go on to the next call. You, you killed it. Please don't shoot yourself. For me. Um, no, no. That's, that's why I'm a supporter now, not a fan. <laughs> Have a good one, man. 